we have the most expensive childcare system in Ontario because that was the legacy of what uh, Kathleen Wynne, Dalton McGuinty, and now Stephen Del Duca left child care increase by 400% on deliverables. Uh, we have thousands of families on wait lists, unable to find a space, unable to afford a space. This is a legacy that's hurt families. It's hurt the economy. It's hurt women who want to work in the workforce. Uh, and I believe it is so important that we land a good deal for people, good deal for families. And I'm proud to report uh, on behalf of our government with VJ, with Christine and Premier Doug Ford that we have announced a better deal for Ontario families. A, what was a $10.2 billion deal uh, is now a $13.2 billion deal. What was a five-year program is now a six-year program. What was only for nonprofit child care now includes for-profit child care as well. Uh, and what was designed to be um, uh, about building spaces, we ended up getting 86,000 built, uh, approved for building <coughs> over the coming five years. Uh, so it is a very positive outcome for Ontario families. And um, we're just <coughs> tremendously proud to have worked with the federal government to have landed a deal that reduces costs and those savings start now. Families will receive a 25% immediate, on average, cut in their fees this year, now, retroactive to April, and then we'll hit 50% savings on average by December of this year. So for a family in Toronto paying $20,000 for childcare, they will on average pay around 10,000 by Christmas. That's money in the bank, and only Premier Doug Ford and our progressive conservative government can be counted on to get good deals, better deals for the taxpayer, for parents, and for our kids. Uh, and of course, by 2025, we will hit uh, $10 a day on average. We will have 86, 87,000 spaces built, and we will, of course, uh, have protected choice for parents who have their kids in nonprofit and for profit. So it is a materially better outcome. Uh, we're excited to see this relief for moms and dads. I'm grateful for families out there and for MPPs like Christine Hogarth, like VJ Danigaslan, and others who have stood firm saying to the federal prime minister, we want more. Ontarians deserve better. And thankfully, through collaboration and hard work, we have delivered that for families after decades of talking about affordable child care, this progressive conservative government has delivered. Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. My question uh, is about uh, mask mandates in schools. And I would like to know why the government decided to end masks uh, in schools, even though some experts said it was too early. And also, if there are any extra measures planned to counterbalance this decision in the event of, of uh, COVID resurgence? Well, first off, every jurisdiction on earth has lifted mask mandates from you know, the Nordic states to the European Union, to the United Kingdom, to 49 states, to every single province with the exception of one. I mean, the world has, has adopted the emerging science that we should be able to live with COVID while allowing individuals to make decisions for their own personal risk tolerance. We have followed the advice of the Chief Medical Officer of Health, who has been clear, this is the right way to go, but we are vigilant in our schools. It is why, Teresa, we are sending 49,000 additional HEPA units into Ontario schools and childcare. Just for context, in September, we deployed 73,000 HEPA units. There are more HEPA units in September in Ontario than every province combined. We're now adding almost 50,000 more in the month of March in the first two weeks of April to make our schools safer, to make our childcare settings safer. So yes, mask mandates are optional, but the ventilation improvement is mandatory in every school in Ontario. We are making it safer by reducing uh, risk, by increasing the air quality, and we are making an unprecedented investment uh, in ventilation standards that are going to uh, really help keep the kids safe, healthy, and in school learning, which we think is so critical for their mental health. Okay, thank you so much.